Good morning from Good Hope Equestrian Regenerative Farm. Today I'm going to walk you through what a typical morning of farm chores looks like. Good morning, boys. All right, we've got some help today. Thank you, James. And he is filling up the horse's water. This is always the first course of the morning. We go to each stall and fill up their water bucket so they have something to drink. Yeah. We're feeding Pro Elite Senior to these horses. It's a good feed for them. They seem to really like it. Excuse me, midnight. Excuse me, bud. All right, this is what we're feeding the horses, guys. It's called Pro Elite Senior. And it's been really good for them. They like it. All right. Hey, Devin. Excuse me, pal. All right, to his bucket in the corner. There goes the feed. Chow down, bud. All right, the next thing we're gonna do for these guys is go to each window with our wheelbarrow full of hay and give them all a flake of hay. We're feeding them Timothy and orchard grass and they're getting a minimum of three flakes a day depending on the horse, some get up to six. Excuse me, Wyndham. There we go. All right, let's keep his hand. There we go. Zeke, are you helping with the morning chores this morning? All right, next we're gonna be taking all these guys out to their paddocks after we hit them with some fly spray. Put these guys out in their paddocks. All right, before we put them out to pasture, we hit them with some fly spray just to help them fight all the flies we got around here. to the paddock we go. Um, just make sure that All right, now we're walking out. Sir Bones and my favorite, Will Nugget. Nugget is my pal, our best buddies. Best he's, a, ever. he's a good boy. <laughs> best ever. All right, y'all ready to go out? Let's go. All right, so once we get the horses out to pasture, the next order of business for the day is to muck out their stalls. Once we fill the muck buckets, we put them in this wheelbarrow, and this is how we towed it out of the barn. All 
All right, when you finish mucking a stall and get a full muck bucket, put it in the wheelbarrow. Move on to the next one. So all the horses have been put out to pasture, and now I'm out here at the blueberry patch. We had a family of pickers show up this morning, so I came and got them all set up. I'll show you guys what that entails. We have these little plastic buckets with a biodegradable plastic bag that we issue you, and you get to go pick all the blueberries you want, and I check you out when you get done. All the money goes back into the nonprofit, so you are directly helping the disabled community when you come pick our blueberries, and we sure appreciate your business but they are popping off right now. I'll go show you some. So many delicious berries out here, guys. Come out and pick some so the birds and the bears don't get them all. Or me. Every day I come down here just to check on the cows, make sure they're doing all right. They're over here by their waterer getting some water right now. All present and accounted for. All right, just got back to the house, let the dogs out. All the chores are through for the day. But that is what a typical morning here at Good Hope looks like. I'm at that barn at 7 a.m. and we get to taking care of the horses, watering, feeding, mucking the stalls, and getting them put out to pasture. And that affords us time to do everything else that needs doing around the farm. Today I went into my beehive and checked on my bees. I'm gonna start mowing tomorrow. We got a the Kubota mower finally delivered from Homestead, so we'll be able to get busy getting these pastures clipped the way they need to be and knock the blackberries back that are so thick in some of these pastures. So yeah, that's a day of work at Good Hope and I hope you guys enjoyed. You can join us here on the channel. Make sure you subscribe if you like the content. I'm Brett Bass for Good Hope Equestrian Regenerative Farm signing off. You guys take care and we'll see you soon. Subscribe if you enjoy the content. Hey guys, I'm here with Josh from Stony Ridge Farm, and he came today and did a YouTube video with us. We're here with our pound nugget in the stall. What yeah. You, what are you working on these days, Josh? Uh, a lot of stuff on the farm, man. We uh, got 150 acres cattle operation going on, uh, doing some regenerative farming, similar to what you guys got going on. So. Yeah, Josh was probably me and Dad's biggest influence to start a YouTube channel and get it going. So we're happy to have him here hanging out with us. Heck yeah, here playing with the horses too, which is nice. Yeah, make it's, sure you follow him on YouTube. It's Stony Ridge Farmer yeah. on there. Stony Ridge Farmer. Hey, I remember my first iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you soon. See ya.